Thank you so much for joining us with a new video. If you are new here, consider subscribing, because we bring you great base design for every town hall level. Ok, let's talk about the base design. In this base design, clan castle is placed in the center of the base along with heroes, which will make it hard for an opponent to lure clan castle troops at the beginning of the attack. Since Town Hall is also an important building because it's worth 1 star and it stores some loots in it, so we have to place it somewhere where the opponent cannot reach it easily. So it is placed in the inner part of the base and it is guarded with main defensive structures and heroes so it will be hard to take down Town Hall from this base. And both Inferno Towers are placed on both sides of the Town Hall along with other defensive structures so it can deal early damage against Queen Walk and two expos that are located near town hall are set in the ground target, so it could affect an opponent's fondling process. Since the Dark Elixir is hard to collect, so Dark Elixir storage is placed in the inner compartment along with Heroes and Wizard Tower, so it could protect the Dark Elixir during the raid. Also, Eagle Artillery is placed far from Town Hall and Clan Castle, so opponents will find it hard to get these buildings either using Lightning Spell and other attack strategies. And all the Wizard Towers are placed around the core part of the base so it could save core part of the base from massive hog riders and miners, which will help from losing second or third stars. Also, we need to consider storage building placement while making all kinds of the base design, because it has a high hit point than other buildings and it stores loots. So, if we placed all the storage at the same compartment in the center of the base, there is a high chance of losing all the loots during the attack so it must be placed as far from each other in a different compartment as possible, so that opponents cannot get all the loots unless they destroy the space. Also, these storage buildings can buy extra time for defensive structures to eliminate the opponent's troops while they are locked on these buildings. And those storage buildings are guarded with almost all defensive structures. and all the expos and air defenses are placed in the different compartments, so the lightning spell cannot get more value from this base, so it will be hard to get 3 stars from this space using different air attack strategy. Which means this space also serves as a trophy base. Archer towers and cannons are placed on the edge of the base so it can cover those areas against air and ground troops. And some defensive structures are placed outside the base which will make it hard for the opponent on fondling process. Also, most of the buildings are placed one or two tiles far from each other, so the opponent's troops can't destroy multiple buildings at once.
all traps are placed in the area where they can work effectively. Such as giant bombs are placed in the area where the wizard tower is out of range. Air bombs and air mines are placed near wizard tower on air defense to give backup to those structures. This base will work against any Town Hall 11 attack strategy without having clan castle troops. So, if there is a clan castle troop, this base would be even more effective. Thanks for watching. If you like this video, hit that like button and share it with your friends. And if you are not subscribed to our channel yet, then hit that red subscribe button and turn on the notification bell. And if you need more base layout at different town hall levels, make sure to mention in the comment section. Once again, let's see the placement of the defensive structures and heroes, and its effective coverage, and I will see you in the next one.